I'm Greg Casey, data scientist at Sartorius, and I'm going to show you the new features in Simca 18 that further support Python script developers in adding custom functionality to their Simca projects. Like previous versions of Simca, Simca 18 also contains a number of example Python scripts that you're free to use as is or modify to suit your particular purposes. Uh, however, new to 18 are four new scripts that are particularly useful for projects that are destined to be deployed in Simca Online. Uh, so for example, these first two are used to update a, an existing project with new data. So perhaps you have an existing process monitoring model that you want to update with maybe the previous month's uh, worth of data. Well, the update current project button will take your new data bring it into the work set of the existing monitoring model and refit the model with the new data. Uh, this model would then be ready to redeploy into Simco Online, update it with the most recent conditions. Uh, there's also an option to update all of the projects in a given folder. So if you have multiple monitoring models that you want to update with the same data, you can use this script here. Uh, there are other, also two other scripts that I'm going to demonstrate. And these are around creating and testing forecasting models for Simco Online. So to show this, I have an existing batch evolution model that I want to use for forecasting. That is being able to predict where a process is going to go in the future. So I have this batch evolution model selected and I'm gonna create the forecasting model. We'll select M1. Uh, we also have an additional option here to select which manipulated variables we want. So if we have some set points that we want to be able to change uh, based on the control advisor's recommendations, we could select them here. Um, but for now, I'll just hit OK. Uh, and it set up the model for us. So this is the batch level model that we could then deploy in Simco Online. Uh, configure with the control advisor and it will show us a forecasted score uh, for the entire trajectory of the batch. There's one more change here I have to make. We have some output here telling us to auto fit our model if we're happy with it, which I will do now. Uh, and this model's, as I said, ready for deployment, but uh, there's also some tools in this test forecast model script to help us assess you know, how well our forecasting model is going to perform once we deploy it. So let me run that one next. Uh, there's some options here that I will leave as the defaults. Just doing some calculations. And now it's going to show us a series of plots that can help us determine whether or not this is going to be a good model. Uh, so this first one's just telling us how well our model is fitting the data at each maturity step. Um, but if I click through a little bit here, I think uh, more interesting will be to show the forecast itself. So let's say I wanted to see how well can we predict viable cell density throughout the batch. Well, here is an example of what we would have seen in Simco Online had this model been deployed. Uh, the black line here is the actual data. And then this sort of opaque circles give us uh, the forecasted value. So if we had deployed this in Simco Online, we would see these forecasted values in real time, and we can see if they're close enough to the actual uh, actual observed value. Do this for another variable just to illustrate. Let's try out glucose. Move this here, uh, and same thing. We can see the actual value and then our forecasted value using this forecasting model. And that's it for that script. So using these two scripts here, we can streamline the process of creating the forecasting model such that it's ready for deployment, uh, as well as testing it. So we can get some plots like that, that again, you're free to modify uh, such that we can assess how well we'd be able to forecast before we actually deploy it in Simcoe. 